indo us nuclear deal we'll just briefly write about this so that you remember this because it is a conceptual thing that you should be knowing in 2008 hmm. india and us signed an agreement In this agreement, India was given waiver waiver to import to import raw materials and technology. despite india being not a member of npt despite india being not a member of npt however india was suppose india is supposed to open up open up its civilian civilian nuclear power plants to the inspection of iaea International Atomic Energy Agency, IAEA, a, a UN watchdog, a UN watchdog to check nuclear proliferation, a UN watchdog to check nuclear proliferation. but but a liability clause but a liability clause has become a bottleneck but a liability clause has become bottleneck in this agreement liability you can write what is liability liability it means who will be held responsible who will be held responsible in case of a nuclear accident who will be held responsible in case of a nuclear accident in usa in usa the vendors and suppliers vendors and suppliers are protected from any liability are protected from any liability under the price anderson act of 1957 under the price anderson act of 1957 the liability falls only on the operator the liability falls only on the operator
However, in India, according to this law, Slinda, Civil Liability, Civil Liability Nuclear Damage Act. However, in India, according to Slinda, that is Civil Liability Nuclear Damage Act of 2010, liability can be shifted from operator. Liability can be shifted from operator to vendor or supplier. To vendor or supplier in case the accident is due to, in case the accident is due to equipment or material defect. This was the reason, this was the reason that companies, nuclear companies pulled out from India.